Sri Chandra Babu Naidu, the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh. Your Excellency, President of the United States of America, Mr. William Jefferson Clinton, distinguished invitees, friends, Mr. Rahul Bajaj, CIA President, Sanjay Bhatnagar, President, American Chamber of Commerce, Ramalanga Raju, another entrepreneur in Andhra Pradesh, and friends, media. A warm welcome to President William Jefferson Clinton to Hyderabad, sorry, Cyberabad. This is known as Cyberabad as on today. We had twin cities, Hyderabad and Sikindrabad. Recently we added Cyberabad. Now we are all in Cyberabad. This is the history of Hyderabad. We are very happy to receive you. This is a memorable day. I am very happy that American President is visiting South India. You know, Mr. President, you are a Southerner. You have come from Southern part of America. First time American President is visiting <laughs> South India. We are all honored. We are very happy to receive you. Mr. President, you have done so, much, so many things for U.S. economy and also USA. The new economy, what you have created in a unique way. In 1992, there is a deficient budget that is 292 billion U.S. dollars. Now you have made a surplus budget that is 123 billion U.S. dollars. Now, growth rate is, for the last seven years, 4%. Now it is 6% in the last month. It is only possible for you to create this much of growth rate, whereas in a developed country. Even unemployment level, 7.5% in 1992, you are reduced to 4.2%. This is also a unique thing. You have created nearly 19 million new jobs. For the last 40 years, nobody has done in the in United States of America. First time you have created so many jobs and you have created all these things. Even on crime rate is the lowest for a generation. All figures are lowest in America. That is how you have done major initiatives in education, healthcare, environment. We are all very happy. You have done so many things for America and you have prepared the American society to move next uh, to move into the 21st century this is your contribution for the america so uh, mr president india's links with the us largest democracies in the world india second india second largest english speaking country in the world historical struggle against colonialism there is excellent relations between america and uh, India in trade and also investment. Even recently, you have expressed that one third of American computer professionals are from India. One third engineers in Silicon Valley also <laughs> hails from India. I am proud to say 23 percent of India's software engineers are from Andhra Pradesh, from this state. That is our happy and also we are proud of it. The U.S. connection for Andhra Pradesh, U.S. companies like Microsoft, Oracle, Motorola, Hubbard, DuPont, Mer Merck, Pfizer, etc. are located here. Indo-American Center for International St Studies are located in Hyderabad in Usman University. Mr. President, we are very happy to know that your golf shirts are made in Hyderabad. <laughs> that is a very proud moment for us. Cutter and Buck, this is the company 
which is supplying for you all your uh, golf shirts. We are very happy. Morning also to remember us. I have given one golf shirt made in Hyderabad. <laughs> Sir, I am really touched. When I requested to visit Hyderabad, you have responded very well. Letter of 3rd December 1993, I would appreciate the chance to see for myself Hyderabad's unique synthesis of India's ancient cultural traditions and leading edge technologies. This is what you promised me. You made it reality by coming to Hyderabad. We are all very happy and we are thankful to you. Sir, in, Mr. President, in America, within seven years' time, you have done so many things. Here also we want to eradicate poverty. For the last four and a half years, we are working in the direction to eradicate poverty. We have prepared Vision 2020. In vision document, we made it very clear. This is the philosophy of vision. Our vision of Andhra Pradesh is a state where poverty is totally eradicated, a knowledge and learning society built on the values of hard work, honesty, discipline, and a collective sense of purpose. This is the philosophy we are working for our state. Even we are having very ambitious plans if you see the physical and financial targets for Vision 2020, seven-fold increase in per capita income, at least 17 to, million, 17 to 20 million new jobs, 0.83% annual population increase, rapid growth in industry and services. This document is prepared by McKinsey, the international company. The McKinsey is headed by, again, a Indian. That is our uh, pride. He has prepared all these things. We are very happy. Mr. President, you know our Indian Constitution. We are having federal government, state government, and local self-government. We have taken a new approach, empowering everyone, everywhere, through self-help groups. Just now we have seen DACRA, even how they are using internet for e-commerce, and also self-employment schemes, and also how they are interacting for micro-credit, all these things. We have created self-help groups, even for farmers, watershed development, water user association, for managing water efficiently. And also for youth empowerment, we have created CMEY. To upgrade the environment, we have created joint forest management. To achieve 100% literacy, we have created village education committee. Through all these self-help groups, we wanted to involve stakeholders. We wanted to achieve progress. And at the same time, we, have, we had a program called as Janma Bhumi. Through Janma Bhumi, it is a motherland concept. Through Janma Bhumi, we wanted to achieve overall excellence by involving everybody in the Janma Bhumi program. Now we are asking every citizen, they should not question what government is doing. We are asking community what you are doing for the society. That is how we are promoting patriotic feeling among our citizens. And also, you are aware, clean and green. We have to give clean and green atmosphere for future generation. Every month, third Saturday, all students, employees, citizens of the state, we are all following clean and green program, and we are promoting cleanliness, hygienic conditions. This is one area, total, all over the world, people are worried. So we wanted to promote environment. For that, we are celebrating clean and green function every month. Green Business Center, you have seen just now, the CII, Chamber of Indian Industry, they have started that. They have started in Hyderabad. I wanted to express here, CII, they are doing extremely good service in Hyderabad for Andhra Pradesh by having partnership with us. We are really thanking them in our presence. Mr. President, you know information technology for all. You are the leader. You are using information technology, internet, to promote everything. I mean, in IT mean idea transfers to the common man. That means any idea, good idea all over the world, has to, do, has to be transferred to the common man, then only we'll get results. That's why we call IT idea 
transfer. That is what we call for ID, IT. Mr. President, you know, linear models of development have gone. You are given a new way, that is third way. No capitalism, no communism. This is a third way where reforms with human face. You and Mr. Tony Blair, they are promoting third way. In the same way we are working for the last four years, we are getting excellent results. You have seen just now, high-speed digital networks, internet access for the 29,000 villages, we want to take it up immediately. Work is going on. From anywhere in the state, we want to have access anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world, that is how we are working. Knowledge revolution to eradicate poverty of the mind. This is what we are seeing, we are thinking. Only knowledge revolution to eradicate poverty. Once everybody is having confidence, then things will happen automatically. Here I want to say one thing. Two bills in the world have created history. Of course, is here Bill Clinton. We are very happy. Within seven years' time, he has done historical work in the United States on public governance, on democratic country. For a century, nobody has done this much of work he has done. Another bill, Bill Gates, whereas he has done extremely good work on information technology. This is the revolutionary things they have done. Mr. President, you know very well, Bill Gates within 30 years' time, he has become world richest man. Here, Wipro MD, one Mr. Premji is here. He is third richest man in the world. He is also in the IT field. And also Ramalinga Raju, son of the soil is here. He has done extremely good work in Andhra. Like that, so many people created histories on IT. My idea is what you have done in America. We wanted to use IT for helping the common man. We wanted to eradicate poverty. To eradicate poverty, we wanted to use IT as a strategic tool for that, uh, for that activity. That is where we are working. These are all the schools of excellence, Indian School of Business. This is where we are working now. This is, this is uh, promoted by 500 Fortune companies in the world. Now we are having collaboration with Wharton and also Kellogg. Indian Institute of Information Technology is another institute where we are having collaboration with Carnegie Mellon University. We are promoting all these things. Like this, at FX level, we are having so many institutions of excellence. Even on the other side, if you see so many engineering colleges and also BCA courses, all these things we have promoted for the period of four years' time. This is another area, skilled manpower added every year, graduate engineers, MCA, MBA, diploma engineers, ITI, certificate holders, every year we are adding all these things. Scenario in the 21st century, the passage of isms are over, world has become a borderless world, geography is history, death of distance now. That's why we are reinventing government, smart government, simple, moral, accountable, responsive, transparent. This is our idea to promote government, smart government. We wanted to bridge the digital divide, that is where we are working. Future is technology-led development, biotechnology. Apart from information technology, we are very strong in biotechnology. Bharat Biotech, Santa Biotech, they are located in Hyderabad. And also information technology, IT powering the global economy, IT enabled services are the future. This is where, for a brave new world, partnership in the grey revolution. Our ancestors used to work with physics. Today, brain has to work. Then only we'll do wonders. That's why here, we need partnership from you to achieve the gray revolution. As on today, Mr. President, there is a brain drain from India, US. Now we are expecting brain gain from USA to India. That is what we are thinking. <laughs> now you see, Globally, everyone wants peace, prosperity, happiness. 
This is the famous quotation from Peter Decker. If you want to understand the future, you have to create it. So it is in our hands, our politicians, policy makers, has to work in the direction. Sir, here I want to give one thought to you. As on today, you have done extremely well for United States of America. You are no more an American citizen now. You are a global citizen. Now I'm requesting you to promote globally, to do so many things for the world. That is what we are expecting. You are always promoting good governance, democratic governance, and also all these things. For that, we wanted to create one institute, Global Institute of Governance in the Information Age. If you give good governance, all things will follow. That's why we wanted to create this. For this, I want to show one film that is three minutes. That is what we wanted to explain to you, sir. Here, sir, I wanted to show that. And at the same time, we wanted to seek your cooperation in this direction.